Hey, and welcome to episode two of Trash Fire Tales, the podcast for Cope and Seeds, where we go over bits of research that we're not using on stream or for videos or for other projects uh, that are just sort of ridiculous, really. Today, I am again joined by Jenny. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. Nice, nice. And um, we're going over Rose Malay. Am I saying that right? Because her um, name is spelt mullet. Yeah, so... <laughs> So Rose, Rose gets very mad when people pronounce her name properly. It's she insists it's Mule. She's <laughs> she's been like very, uh, very very insistent on that for a long time. Uh, but that's kind of a it's kind of an interesting look at how she she views herself. She's like this really exceptionally boring person who is desperate to be famous. She's just so desperate for attention. And she's even got a special name that you do, that looks and is pronounced differently. Well, it, re um, it reminds me of this like this fucking old British comedy about this middle class woman who keeps saying her name is like bouquet and it's spelt bucket. <laughs> it's like it's like that. That's what I think of. So for people who don't know who Rose is, and I wouldn't fucking blame you, uh, you may have seen Rose kind of recently uh, during uh, the Brad drama. Uh, Rose is the person with some interesting takes on rape, uh, which we'll get into. But oh my god, there is so much more. This person's being, this person's fucking ridiculous. I thought I had somewhat of an understanding of who Rose was before I started like digging into her for this. I didn't realize how much I was missing. I was just scratching the surface. She has a bizarre history. She so she's like twenty four, right? And mm -hmm. her online history goes back about eight years. And she started off as this like random schizo wannabe posting on pop music forums in like 2016 and she became kind of notorious in these places for how much of a lol cow she was she was absolutely delusional about the quality of her music and she she was also for some reason under the belief that she was already kind of famous or at least she she claimed that she believed that i don't know if she actually did or if it's like some genuine psychosis thing i don't know but she she got banned several times she's a like repeat ban evader on pretty much every website she's ever been on because she has some pretty insane takes Originally, she was mostly banned for being homophobic. She said some some very choice things about what she thinks of putting your dick in someone's someone's butt. So she was she was on these like music forums. She got banned from all of them for being really homophobic. God, it was a bit notorious, and she was so well known among them that when she finally got banned from one of them, a moderator from that place turned up on another forum to basically say, "Guys, you got to watch out." There's this girl coming, Rose Malay. She's a fucking schizo. We just got rid of her. You guys are probably next. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are next. <laughs> I mean, that that was pretty much the gist of it. it. That's that's like kind of like getting banned from like your local pub, and then them going around and being like, "Yeah, listen, it's probably best if you just bar this person as well." Like blanket citywide ban. Oh god, yeah, here it is. Right, October second, twenty sixteen. Uh, this is on like a ATRL forum, I think. Uh, a troll that goes by the name of Rose Malay might be making her way here. She's perma banned from uh from atrl oh no this is pop justice sorry she's perma banned from atrl and me and two other mods from church of pop had to ban her for a week just so, uh just so you all know she might be coming here batten down the hatches and prepare for an onslaught of her quest for fame although she thinks she's already famous 69 twitter followers okay hun and her provocative threads do you want to see my dot 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 you can finish that sentence liked by <laughs> rose malay <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I did actually find some of the homophobia tweets, by the way. Um, gay people don't struggle with shit. They're like a pack of sardines. They stick together and don't care how bad they smell as a group, just expecting us to get used to it. Sorry, that's a bad analogy. Because sardines don't try to convince humans they are sardines, but gay people do. It, what the fuck? I think she's saying gay people aren't human and they try and convince people that they are. <laughs> Okay. I don't like gay people, but the reason I don't is purely because of the way they've treated me and all the horrible experiences I've had. That's what's made me homophobic. I wasn't before. When you say, like, all the horrible experiences she's had, like, they haven't raped her? Like, what, what are we talking about here? I think that's that's probably it. They they refuse to rape her, but I, mean, well, I suppose that can't be it, though, because then she'd have to hate all straight people as well. So I guess that leads nicely into Rose's positions on rape. Yeah, let's um, let's let's look at this. Is... I think this is what people are going to be most familiar with. Let's be honest. Oh yeah, the, this is her 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 thing. I, I think it's the only real thing about her as well. 
because uh, it's a take she's had consistently for pretty much the entire time she's been online. So first tweet here is from 2017, December 30th. Rape is okay as long as you don't get an STD. Well, what do we think about that? That's a that's a that's a spicy take. It's a real real uh, gets really gets the noggin jogging, doesn't it? Sexual harassment, aka love, is a compliment. And if that offends you, he must be living a seriously miserable life. That wh whenever I get to aka love in this one, I always just imagine JF. I'm just thinking that <laughs> it's love, you idiot. <laughs> it's called the love. I mean, I'm Rose, a bit like, Rose, Rose, Rose Malay is somebody who I think would get on very well with JF. Well, JF couldn't breed with her, so she, he, he'd hate her. My, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, my memory of this is, like, around Rose telling a story in which she said that she was upset because she was at a house party, pretended to be drunk and fall asleep on a sofa and no one raped her. Yeah, she, she tried to get raped and failed. <laughs> and was really, really upset about it on Twitter. Let's just have Rose explain it to us in her own words. I have a rape fetish. Like, I want to be raped. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, okay, here's here's the thing. Like, if someone doesn't want... Like, I think there's this misconception that I'll, like, support rape or whatever. Like, I say dumb shit on Twitter. But, like, the thing is, I want to be raped. Like, Why would you want... <laughs> Why would... What? Bro, okay, one bit. One, because I deserve it. And two, okay, because no one it would just that. make me why, feel okay. good about myself. Wait a minute, why? Why okay. do you deserve? Why do you deserve that? That's so, uh, that's an that's... interesting position to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm really sad, actually, that Rose wasn't around in like 2016, um, because I think I think she'd have had some things to say to Sargon about his "I wouldn't even rape her" comment towards a British politician. <laughs> How dare he? <laughs> Every, everyone deserves upset. rape. <laughs> yeah, she should be just as upset as Jess Phillips, just for the exact opposite reason. That that's a fascinating coalition. <laughs> yeah, I remember like because there was this um oh god, there was this like rape trap. I don't I don't know how else to put it, like where it was like a device that would clamp onto a man's penis and you'd have yep. to go to hospital to get it removed and she I called it in it. <laughs> she called it this one in um, inhumane this is evil and any woman uh, woman with this device should be sentenced to life in prison so when rose was doing her i want to be a famous singer thing i mean has she released she she's released music right oh you say when she was doing she hasn't stopped so let's be clear she kept this going for a very long time. Uh, it's along along with the rape thing. It's one of the like only consistent things about Rose. Um, so th this is this is one of her songs that she's made. If you if you can really call it that. Just uh, I just want you to soak in this album cover. So that's that's her face as she presents herself, right? And then this is a picture of what Rose actually looks like. I want you to. <laughs> So mean. I want you to tell me, Becca, if you can if you can spot the difference between these two images. Can <laughs> so uh that that album or that song, uh I'm not sure, has a score of two. <laughs> presumably out of a hundred, considering how small the red <laughs> bar is here. Can we hear it? Can we hear the song? We can. Let's listen to Rose Malay. Formerly viral. All right. Never give in, never back down. The walls cave in. I'm gonna show you how. I'm not the only one. I'll tell you I'm never done. Okay, I think that's enough of that. What What do we think, Beckett? Do we think that earned those those two points? I'm <laughs> so. This is 59 <laughs> views. What are there any comments? Comments are turned off. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> There are no likes. You will be you'll be shocked. To I, I am appalled. I'm appalled that there are no likes for this. That's that's. that's should we stunning. should we be the only one? Let's do it. Yeah, let's uh, let's give it a like. Okay. There we go. A like from Cope and Seethe. Thank you, thank you, Rose. <laughs> the Cope and Seethe seal of approval. <laughs> I don't think I've heard anything mixed worse than that ever. 
<laughs> is that your position? Rose Malay is it the was... worst musical artist you've ever heard. It, it, the mixing specifically, it was, <laughs> it was just a mess. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, Rose is a mess though. It's very on brand. <laughs> yeah, Rose seems to present herself as. Like, I remember, again, I remember these tweets where she was, like, talking about how great her life was, uh, and she was, like, flying all over the place, and that she was super wealthy. Uh, my understanding is that her parents are super wealthy. Yeah. There, there have been, like, a few times she's talked about this. Uh, apparently, it's from 2020, uh, her parents just bought her a fucking four-bedroom house, and she's going to be able to live there forever for free in the future. Um, she's talked on stream before about, like, how how she never wants to have a real job and she's even tweeted a couple of times about i think i think her exact words were i would rather kill myself oh here we go i would actually kill myself long before i ever had to work a real job by the way if i don't make it as a social media influencer 100 percent, i'll be dead so if you want to save me then help me with this uh that that got eight likes i guess rest in peace rose malay you know i don't look i don't want rose to die I, I, I think that people need to help this woman. Look, there must be like a circus or something, like a freak show where she can go and work. I, people have tried to help her uh, in the past, and it, it just hasn't gone particularly well for, um, well, well, for anyone involved, really. Um, most recently was Brad Taste, uh, if you think that would be a good time to, to go. Yeah, into I mean, I think the Brad Taste drama is like, she came back up. I'd, I'd forgotten that she existed, if I'm honest. Bit of a recap for the Brad Taste drama. Taste met, met like Ethan Klein, uh, got a load of shit for it on Twitter, and was like, "Oh, I need to look into people more because you know it's really serious and like they're a problematic person." You know, really, really pandering to. Um, I'm not even sure what fucking demographic. Who the fuck becomes like? How do you become a decent sized content creator and you're still giving a shit what Twitter thinks of you? It's fucking so retarded. Um, but I mean, the same thing actually basically happened to Ethan Klein, didn't it, when his uh, podcast with Hassan fell apart? But he dealt with it a lot better. Well, yeah, this is, this is because, and I don't know if people remember this, but actually Ethan Klein went through a period where he had a very, very left-wing audience for a while. This is before the shit with Hassan. And he had a take and they didn't like it and they went after his sponsors. And ever since then, he's been a lot more like, fuck you. But regardless, Brad went through this whole like fucking cancellation thing. When that happened... He kind of went quiet, except for one thing, where he was like, hey, I really like Rose Malay. And everyone went, what? <laughs> you like the rape woman? Well, why? He was like, no, no, she's improving, she's improving. And then Rose brought out a video. He then condemned her and Rose brought out a video, <laughs> basically shitting on him. She was like, oh, he's always known about my rape takes. He loved them, actually. He liked this tweet about, about rape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she uh, she cooked him pretty hard over that, but she it, it was more like a kind of suicide bombing cancellation because she basically took herself out in the process because she revealed that she'd been keeping a massive fucking Google Drive full of receipts on this guy who was meant to be her friend, which is like insane and leaked a ton of DMs and stuff. And it was just uh... she, she also tried calling him out for like bad takes he'd had in the past. I was like, of all the people who's going to try doing that. Rose, I'm not sure you're the one. Um, I don't, don't know what you're talking about. Rose Rose is always winning, okay? It's 4D chess, Jenny. It's just like the dark, right? They're playing chess, <laughs> we're playing checkers. Just an image of, like, Rose Malay, like, drooling on a chess board. <laughs> yeah, the, the Brad Taste stuff, though, this actually goes back way further than, uh, that a lot of people might realize. And it ties into another drama the Rose was part of years ago with someone called Nate is Lame. I don't know who the fuck Nate is Lame is, except that he's involved in this this drama with Rose somehow. Uh, Nate and Brad were like kind of friendly or associates or something like back in the day, back in like 2018 or so. I think they still are today. Nate was actually part of this like group of people. I think it might just have been literally the two of them who was trying to rehabilitate Rose a little bit and was like, oh no, she's so different now. She's like changed her tune. She's grown. She's grown. Let's uh, let, let's look at how Nate initially got to know Rose because I think I think that's pretty interesting. They were having some like indiscernible beef on Twitter back in like 2018, probably over some retarded shit that Rose had said her accounts keep getting deleted, so it's really hard to see like exactly what was going on. But basically, Nate was just cooking her. This all kind of went on for about a year or so. It culminated in this thing called Operation Tainted Meat. Wait, what? 
I don't know what the fuck that means, but it was like some kind of trolling op, basically, that was designed to drive Rose even more insane than she already was, with the phrase, tainted meat. Based. It's very, <laughs> very fucking weird. I think this happened after Rose had threatened to sue Nate. Again, I'm not really clear on exactly what that was for, but clearly it, uh, it worked because she made multiple videos on it, including an hour long one called this YouTuber exploited my mental health. <laughs> I have tried to watch it. It's uh, painful. I won't put you through the same thing. Um, she was, however, so opt that she couldn't even begin to comprehend it. Nate had an insider while she was making this video who was pretending to be friends with her. And Rose was sending this guy early versions of the video. And he was in turn sending those to Nate. So while Rose was working on this hit piece, Nate made a response video and he premiered it literally five minutes after Rose's video ended. <laughs> he was in the comments saying, hey Rose, I made a response. It's going to be premiering in five minutes after this ends. And it was an absolutely devastating takedown where it just kind of goes over all of Rose's history up to that point absolutely shredding her oh and, and it ends with a diss track <laughs> a fucking rose Malay diss track that this guy made oh yeah the diss track is also called tainted meat You'll be sleeping on this one till you're in your 40s Doctor, ask about your fees, you're gonna show him me Oh my god, you're the most entitled thing I've ever seen It's such your attitude so Okay, 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 okay. pause it, pause it Okay <laughs> So, so what was the fallout from all this? I was trying to remember if this was one of the beefs that ended with her faking her own death or threatening suicide. This goes on for another another couple months or so uh, because, you know, naturally Rose just cannot leave these things alone. In November 2019, she uh, pulled off, like, possibly her wildest stunt to date when she faked her own suicide by cop. <laughs> Fucking what? So I, I can't find the exact trigger for this. But I've seen like people talk about it later, and Nate like made a comment on it as well. So, Rose tweets, "Why are the police at my parents' door? Pray for me. Holy shit, I'm being arrested. I'm being arrested for a tweet, Lamau. Is this real life? Oh my god, he's gonna shoot me. The door. He's got it. Fuck. He's gonna kill me. And then." <laughs> And then she posts her pinned tweet. Hashtag, rest in peace, Rose Malay. Hi, this is Rose Malay's family. We just received a call from the police that Rose Malay has just died. We ask that you please be respectful at this time as we mourn the loss of our daughter. And she changed her, her bio to, in remembrance of Rose Malay, March 17th, 2000 to November 12th, 2019. Account run by family. I mean, at what so, point do you cut your daughter off? What, at what point do you just go, listen, love? Well, the thing is, Becca, you can't cut your daughter off when your daughter is you. Because Rose Malay is a serial alt account user. <laughs> and one of her alt accounts is her mother. <laughs> no. No, come on. No fucking way. Margaret Malay, thank you at Rumi Official for reviewing my daughter Rose Malay's music. Sure, she said some bad things in the past about rape and transmedicalism, but she deserves a seventh chance or so. Thank you for using your platform to support her. That's <laughs> great. That's so psychotic. Uh, yeah, so uh, people people didn't really believe this, uh, obviously, because it's fucking insane. Uh, for those who don't already know, Rose Malay, I guess the end is a pretty good place to start. This will happen in less than an hour, her mind. And then Nate weighs in later to say... The world has lost a truly great artist. I'm at a loss for words. Her music always had a place in my home. Her videos, a place on my screen. Her words, a place in my heart. Rose will be missed dearly. 
The truly ironic thing is that she had to die to be famous. Truly tragic. <laughs> Touching words there from Nate. Absolutely. Um, Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, he really is a poet. Yeah. So what? What? What are Rose Malade's like other relationships with? She seems to have like like not great relationships with people. So what are they like with like like what, her personal life? There isn't a ton that's known about her personal life, but I was able to get some information from some friends of mine who used to be kind of friendly with Rose. So Rose is. Rose is like very, very terminally online, very Twitter brain. She's kind of always been around. She's like a almost, almost like a cryptid, you know. She's like there. She'll pop up from time to time. You'll get a random sighting, uh, usually in the mentions of your Twitter account, where she's saying some really insane shit. So these these like friends of mine, they one of them used to run like a, a group chat that had like a ton of people in it, and they invited Rose at one point to just kind of see if she was trolling, see if she was like. If there was anything real about her, if it was like all a persona, whatever. And a couple of them ended up in like private calls with her and talking to her privately. And they found some pretty, pretty interesting stuff. So I don't have the calls, but I have some chat logs. So Rose got added to this chat and it, it was just like a bunch of shit posters in there. She started screenshotting everything. They were making like some, some jokes, a bit, a bit edgy, a little bit racist, a bit homophobic, a bit transphobic, whatever. And she made like a compilation video of these leaks. She posted it online on Twitter, tagged a bunch of content creators and tried to get everyone in that chat canceled. When that didn't work, deleted everything. And then a few days afterwards, she came groveling back to them in DMs, begging to be let back into the group chat because these people who had added her to this chat to just fuck with her a bit, see if she, if there was like anything behind those eyes, there isn't, um, <laughs> were the closest things she had to friends. And she tried to bribe them. She offered them money to be let back in. Wait, really? How much? Yeah, didn't get a, I didn't get a number, but from the DMs, Rose just says, please add me back. Um, I'll, I will pay you. Wait, let me see where I can find that. Yeah, here we go. I'll pay you. <laughs> should, should we read through some of these actually? It's yeah, sure, go on. Can you please add me to the group chats? Please. Someone kicked me out. I don't know why. You literally posted screenshots of them trying to cancel them. Haha. -ha. I don't endorse it. They're all sick, edgy fucking children. Please add me back. What the fuck? It was gross racist shit. Please. I need this. You saw how upset I was yesterday. Please just add me back. Like, yeah, I get how upset you were. But A, it's not my chat, I'm an outsider. And B, you openly leaked group chat messages with the intention of farming clout. Why do you want back in? And why do you think they'd want you? And Rose literally sends a screenshot of the button to add someone to a chat to be like, yeah, go, no, you gotta go here. You gotta click that. You gotta, you gotta add me, please. I'll pay you. <laughs> you, you cannot expect me to forward that, surely. Really, girl? Surely. That's too fucking funny. The Alexa and Poe one is the only one I care about. Can you please just fucking add me to that one? I didn't leak anything from there. I'm not even in them. And Rose is just like, huh? Huh? I'll tell you, but uh, can you promise me that you're not going to stop being my friend? Uh, and you're not going to stop talking to me. I just got really upset by the racist stuff. And I felt left out and isolated, which really bothered. She'd been in this chat for like two days, by the way. She was like barely in there at all. These people didn't like her. They were, they were just there to fuck with her. And it's apparently made her so ass mad that she wants to pay them to come back in. Like, this is the level of loser we're dealing with right now. I just get really emotional and charged up. And you know how I was yesterday. Please, can you promise that you're not going to stop being my friend? I deleted all the messages. I deleted all the tweets. I just got really upset in the moment because I felt attacked. Please forgive me. I'm beautiful. Explain this. <laughs> yeah, this is from a few months later. So I think, um, I think my friend here liked a meme post someone had made on Twitter about Rose and how uh, how good looking she was. And Rose didn't take too well to that. Oh, uh, I, wait, who who made a meme post about how good Rose looked? Uh, I think this guy called Ethan. You probably don't know him. Okay, I asked because I know that you had a run in with Rose over this. Oh, right. This was this was later. That was oh well that no, that was later. This was this was like okay. before. I'm just, I'm just um, I, I have had a I have had a run in with Rose. We can even get into that. In a, it's not a very long one, 
Uh, I called her Rose Buffet, she blocked me, that's about it. Um, Didn't you compare her to a Star Wars creature? I, yeah, I did compare her to a Star Wars creature. <laughs> she, she did look like the Star Wars creature in question, to be, to be very clear. It was a very fair comparison. So yeah, Rose Rose jumps into into my friend's DMs. I'm beautiful. Explain this. Uh, it was a very comical comment. Even if I consider it mean, it's a funny comment, and I don't think it's that vile. Even if it's mean, uh, and I'm happy to like it. There you go. Explained. I look beautiful. It's not funny. Highly considering unfollowing for this shit. Rose, grow up a little. If you think you look beautiful, then awesome. I think I look horrific, and I wish I had your self-confidence sometimes. But the ability to engage with humour and light back and forth, and some level of social insult ribbing, is probably needed for healthy social interaction. I do look beautiful. Never speak to me again. Bye. Very normal interactions there. Um... So, Rose has had, like, run-ins with, like, the right opinion, right? Yeah. Uh, so... God, how do, how does she run into all these, like, fucking random internet, like, YouTubers and, like, content creators? She's so oh, obviously yeah. a Spurg. <laughs> like... I mean, that's kind of how, right? So, with, with the right opinion specifically... So, actually, my, my initial theory on this, because there was another beef that happened around the same time, and this was, like, April 2020, March 2020, I assumed it might have been the pandemic that had destroyed her brain and led her down this path. But yeah, the, the more I dug, I found, like, the Nate is lame beef, uh, the, the earlier stuff from, like, 2016. I just realized, no, she's actually always been this way. It wasn't, she wasn't driven insane by something. She, she was made insane. She just came out that way. But the, the right opinion stuff. Okay, so Rose is a video editor in the same way that she is a musician, to be clear. And she tried to work with the right opinion in April, 2020. So she sent him a message saying if there was an opening uh, for her to work for him as an editor, uh, he said there actually was. And she got added to a group chat for all the people working with him uh, and was assigned to work on a section of his video. Rose worked on it for about a month and claims that she dedicated pretty much all of her time during that month uh, to doing that in order to impress this guy. She had a fairly good working relationship with him up until this point, as was shown by him. So she, she made a video on this and she showed him like reaching out, asking if she was okay after she deleted her Twitter. So it seemed they were like on kind of friendly business terms, you know? Yeah. Not friends, yeah. but- Yeah, Inter internet, internet familiars. Though evidently he wasn't that familiar with her because uh, Tro was informed at some point some of the more controversial opinions that Rose has, uh, Rose has espoused online immediately sent her a message saying that he would not be doing business with her anymore, but did offer to pay her for the work that she'd done. So pretty, pretty standard, like, okay, I fucked up, but I'm going to take the L here. I'll give you, I'll pay you for it and you fuck off forever. <laughs> Rose didn't take too kindly to this. No, no. Of course, oh, God, who, who could have guessed, right? <laughs> so she made a video trying to expose him for being a hypocrite, claiming that he too had an edgy past and therefore had no ground to criticize her bad tweets. Though she kind of leaves out that Rose's edgy past was really her edgy present and future as well. <laughs> and Tro has never said anything on the level of, I am pro-rape as Rose has, so I don't know what the fuck she was thinking, but there you go. She also accused him in that video of committing piracy to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> what? Because, yeah, because when she was doing this like trial period as an editor, she got sent this uh, like starter pack for editing, uh, uh, what would you say, like, like e editing assets? Yeah. Of, like fonts and stuff and she claimed that one of these folders had a document in it that said this is worth like sixteen thousand euros or something this is a fonts folder by the way apparently worth sixteen thousand euros fuck knows <laughs> um so after she's accused this guy of basically pirating because and this guy's got a lot of editors so the cumulative amount of money we're talking here that she's basically alleging he's pirating is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars so after she's accused him of that, she ends the video by saying that she hopes she can work with him in the future. I don't know what, again, how exactly do you envision that after what you've just done? I, I, it's, it's so baffling. It's like, 
<laughs> it's it actually breaks my fucking brain. Like, what is? Okay, I, I gotta calm myself down. For a second. I just, sorry. Oh, that's okay. fucking amazing. <laughs> I love the idea of going to somebody and being like, "You're the worst person ever. You you are literally committing like civil crimes. You could be like taken to court. You should be taken to court. And you're you're like edgy." and terrible, and I hate you, and I can't work, wait to work for you again. <laughs> I'm so excited for our next project. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so the, the, but the drama's not over. So eventually, uh, the video that she was meant to be working on got posted. Obviously, the section that she had made for it didn't get included, and someone else had taken her place as the editor for it. And it turns out that someone else was Nate is lame. So Rose, after finding out about this, absolutely spurged out and had no choice but to make a second video alleging that Nate had caught wind of her getting this editing gig with Tro and personally shared the video he'd made, the uh, cancelling Rose Malay one, with Tro in order to get her fired. And some DMs came out later which kind of actually proved that might be what happened. <laughs> Uh, and apparently Troy's, Troy was like a little bit dishonest there. It wasn't actually the, the rape stuff, it was the, the homophobia stuff. That doesn't um, surprise me. He's yeah, like, he's been very openly, Troy's, yeah. yeah. A bit of a scumbag move from, from Nate, but also like very funny and probably deserved. I don't think Troy really did anything wrong there, but uh, yeah. Some people were talking about this on Twitter, and according to someone on the Troy subreddit, they were messaged by Rose after commenting on it on Twitter. And apparently, that conversation ended with Rose talking about killing herself. And then the person just had to fucking block her. And there were other people on the Tro subreddit saying, yeah, she messaged me too. <laughs> so just, just random people on Twitter talking about it. She's getting, she, she's DMing them to talk about killing herself because the creator she was involved in drama with didn't want to work with her because she was a fucking schizo. It like... <laughs> I'm not crazy, and if you call me crazy, I'll kill myself. Fantastic. <laughs> Very convincing. That's an argument. I can't imagine why she didn't do well in the politics space. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. So, so talking of uh, talking of killing herself... <laughs> go on. Sorry, you were, you were going to say... No, go on. Let's, let's, okay. let's get to that. Let's, let's... Oh, this, this, is, this is a bit, of a bit of a hefty one. Rose decided that she was going to get into Anision's community. Anision was like super cancelled for the rape accusations and the grooming accusations. Uh, I don't know much about that, but uh, apparently that's a whole thing. It's a it's, uh, uh, oh, boy, is it? Um. <laughs> okay, so so she drops into his Discord and she kind of presents herself to, to his community as like someone who's previously previously been cancelled and alluded to this video that uh, Nate is lame mage, which made a few people going, uh, which caused a few people to go and look for it and discover some of the you know, incredibly normal things that she's been saying. He got into a private call with one person who thought she was a troll and was like, oh, I love trolls. I, I Let's talk about trolling. And Rose was like, no, no, I'm very serious. I, she, oh, okay, right. Um, so she told this person that her psychic had told her she was going to meet an older man who had to leave his partner for her. And for some reason, she'd come to believe that she was Anision's dream girl. Now, this is more Anision law that I can't speak to, but one of the reasons why she thinks Anision was the man of her dreams was because apparently he has a rape kink. Apparently right, Anision okay. is admitted, to, allegedly, uh, to aiding in the rape of his own wife and that men who don't rape are pussies. I have no idea if that's true, but that was what Rose was interested in him for, apparently. So there you go. Um, she got into a bit of a fight with a few people in this server about whether or not rape should be legalized, which ended with one of them saying, but that would just make rape rates go up. And then Rose responded by saying, well, they'll get over it. At least they won't be dead. <laughs> So, um, so you, was Rose? So Rose was too edgy for the Onision community. Oh yeah, they they didn't want anything to do with her. Onision personally didn't want anything to do with her. <laughs> to be clear, um, she paid forty dollars to get the highest tier access in his Discord server, just so she could have one on one conversations with him. And apparently, in this conversation, uh, she told him that she wanted to be the third in his relationship. But later, she admitted. I don't know if this was privately or publicly, 
the her actual intention was to steal him away from his wife just very normal yeah shit. totally I, totally sane who and... hasn't yeah who, who, who among us has not done a plot like this right paying 40 dollars to sneak into a discord to tell a content creator you like that you want to steal them away from their wife <laughs> just yeah so uh other people from the discord start sending the stuff they've uh spoken to rose about to him um and eventually anision's just like yeah okay fuck this bitch get her out of here she's too insane even for me and banned her so rose naturally freaks the fuck out on twitter starts crying about how oh well i technically didn't break any of the rules and th this is all just proof that he actually loves me and after trying and failing of course to get in contact with anision again for the next few hours she posted a video on twitter claiming she was going to kill herself on a live stream so we we have some of this let me uh let me pull this up right so this is what her twitter looked like throughout this she changed her banner and her profile pic to just black changed her name to goodbye and her bio was you stole my money and refused to talk to me so now my life is over you win i'm dead how does it feel to know you killed me she even set her location to goodbye that's <laughs> real commitment to the bit and then she posts a bunch of videos I don't have the originals for these, but I've got some screenshots of the Twitter of her saying, just took 20 pills of Xanax, goodbye. And uh, there, there's like a clip of it that exists somewhere. You can like see her putting a bottle, like a pill bottle up to her mouth. You can like hear it rattling. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. I, I, I'm I surprised she hasn't had a crossover with Ethan Ralph yet. It's only a matter of it's time. It's only a matter of time. We'll get there. Only that. a matter of time. We'll get The that. joint pill stream. So, oh yeah. And she, she even said, if I can't have him, then I can't have anything. Or if, if an Anision doesn't want me, then I'm better off dead. <laughs> she posted another video as well of her, like, uh, she was, like, talking about her asthma. And then in this later video, she's, like, hyperventilating really quickly. So I guess it's, like, adding to the theater of it all. She's trying to make it convincing. She's not very good at making it convincing, but she's she's trying. You can see the effort. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's putting in the effort. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking weird. Wait, so... What about, like, she must have had boyfriends and things, right? So according to my friend, who uh, had some completely private conversations with her, uh, <laughs> they, these were like long Discord calls, she didn't really have an incentive to go on some deep elaborate story. Um, according to my friend, she is, at least as of two years ago, a virgin. She's never had a boyfriend and doesn't have any real life friends at all. This is all allegedly, uh, can't confirm it, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> Can't confirm it, but would you come be on. surprised? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Can't I'd, confirm it, I'd, but I'd, I'd I am confident shit. enough to say it on this podcast. <laughs> From an unconfirmed source, Rose Malay apparently uh, has has. <laughs> Uh, how can you have a how can you have a rape fetish if you've never even like got laid? What like how? Well, that's okay. So what I've heard is that's actually part of it, right? She's like so terrified of having sex that she feels like the only way she could get over that is if someone raped her. She, I'm serious. That she actually, believes this. Uh, that actually, okay. I can. I don't know whether the internet's just broken me, but that makes a like horrific kind of sense. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's so depressing. Holy fuck. So, uh, what about her time in Twitch poll? So, um, yeah, she, she, she's been on quite a few debates with a lot of creators like Destiny, Xander Hall, Vorsch, Hunter Avalon, even like Keffels. Um, mostly about the rape thing. Uh, <laughs> it's it, mostly about rape. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're just insane, drawn out, difficult to follow conversations about her constantly trying to justify why actually rape is based and cool and should be legalized. It's like, I think her main argument is men kill women after rape because they're scared of going to prison and suffering those consequences so if we got rid of the consequences they wouldn't feel the need to kill them afterwards that's basically what her argument is in most of these which i mean that's a take it, yeah hence why her response to that that person in an easy on server was well they'll get over it but at least they won't be dead <laughs> Yeah. Um, the the Anision stuff, by the way, ended with a bunch of people calling uh, calling the police on her, trying to get a wellness check done. And she had to like put out a bunch of posts saying, guys, please stop calling the cops. 
I'm fine. I lied about it. It was all made up. I did it for attention. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. <laughs> Which is like, just, uh. and then she like starts going off about how she was only banned because Anesian felt threatened by her and he secretly wanted her, but just wouldn't admit it. Which is just a, you, you've got to wonder if she like actually believes that or if she's just like saying it. Anesian banned me himself because he felt threatened by me. He was worried that I was going to get in between him and Kai. So I'm pretty sure Anesion and Kai got married in like 2012. So Rose Malay thinks she can get in the middle of their eight year relationship formed on a foundation of rape and grooming. <laughs> I, I don't know how. That's a pretty strong bond. I don't think you're going to break that. Um, uh, yeah. And then she, she turns all of this into a video called I trolled the world by pretending to love Anesion. Which, um, yeah, let's let's watch a little bit of that. Not too much of it, but just just a few minutes. My life has kind of been falling apart these past few weeks because of Onision. <laughs> so yeah, basically what this is is just clips of her like Periscope live streams where she was schizoing the fuck out, and then some of the later stuff like we get the bit where she pretends to take the pills. Uh, like a, a like an apology later on, or, or like a kind of not apology. We'll we'll get to it. <laughs> I look hot as fuck. So when Onision sees this, and he sees what he missed out on, he'll be like, "Oh my god, I killed her!" But she if she was so hot and pretty. Oh my god, I wish she wasn't dead. <laughs> I wish I didn't kill her. <laughs> you saw those messages. I have word of what he said. He fucking stole my money. <laughs> He manipulated me, just like everyone was saying about him. And he was just like, I refuse to talk to you. And he was like, at first he was like, oh, you're not, you're not breaking the rules, but you have impossible dreams or whatever. I'm not overreacting. I have DMs. I posted them. I was chatting with him and all of a sudden he just bans me. And, you know, you all think I'm crazy as fuck. There's gonna be lies about me. There's gonna be smears about me. You're going to hear those. It's not about how much money he took. Why are you being nice to me? This is what she thinks is, like, evidence of troll. No, it's evidence you're a retard. What do you mean? What are you doing, Rose? <laughs> There's this other bit later on where she's, she's like, flirting with the idea of jumping over this railing. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> throwing herself to her death, I guess. Um, How romantic. Yeah, pretty, pretty fucking wild. Rose. I can jump over that. Yeah, that door's locked. Okay. I decided that if I can't have this, I can't have anything. Hey guys, it's Rose. You fucking Wait, what? Convinced? Were you convinced, Beckett? Did you believe that acting? I love a good pill stream, as uh, many people know, but like, well, fucking what? <laughs> and then she puts this out, explaining the truth. Like, I just want to let you all know that I'm alive, I'm fine. I'm really sorry if what I posted worried some people. I definitely had a moment of sadness. It's not like I made up the whole thing for attention. That's definitely not true. But at the same time, I definitely am not planning on hurting myself. So that is the truth. That's what's going on. As for the Xanax pills, I have taken Xanax in the- Yeah, but this is clearly, clearly <laughs> a, a high effort trolling up from me. It's, 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 I didn't do it. So I didn't really do it for does. attention. I didn't do it for attention. It was all really real, guys. I didn't actually try and kill myself or take any pills. I just pretended, but it's not for attention. Fucking what? <laughs> So yeah, that's the, the Anision saga. Yeah, so after the Anision stuff, that's when she really kind of got into uh, Twitch poll, I think. It was like around that sort of time, she was like doing more debate stuff, posting on, on Twitter more, getting into more like political arguments. And, but like during, throughout all of this, she's still been going with the music. And at one point she tried to get Anthony Fantano to review her music. This was in uh, like 2019 initially, but they've had a, a beef that's been going on for quite a while. It's not really much of a beef, it's just Fantano turns up once in a while to call her a retard. But... <laughs> so Rose, Rose puts a submission in uh, on his website saying, uh, My debut album is being called one of the worst pop albums of the year, an auto-tuned mess. 
It would make for a very entertaining review. He includes a link for it. Fantano replies back, No thanks, Rose. I saw some crazy fucking shit you said online, and I'd like to just avoid that hot mess. Don't email back. Uh, and then, I don't have the context for this one, but uh, you're assuming your music is good enough to overlook the more garbage aspects of your personality and past. And then, a few years later, so this is 2019, a few years later, 2023, Anthony Fantano replying to Rose, <laughs> Can you stop being talentless and an idiot? And then a few months later, in July, again, Rose is fucking banned from everywhere because she's such a schizo. Because you're a talentless loser and a rape apologist, and includes a, a very choice choice quote of roses um oh god we didn't i don't know if we got into this earlier but rose thinks that you're you shouldn't be allowed to defend yourself uh if you're being raped in case you you accidentally kill the person who is currently raping you so uh, she's caught into quite a few fights with people about that that's that's a that's a take oh yeah so in so as you may be aware becca it is currently brat summer the uh, Charlie XCX album has been absolutely popping. Yeah, I'm so aware. Uh, <laughs> okay, actually, it's tangent. You bitched at me over this for like 15 minutes because I didn't know who, what the fuck this album was or what, anything about it. I don't know what the before. fuck it is. It's, I don't. It's a good album, Beck. It's, it's, it's not. I listened to one song from it, and it is like it just sounds like every other bit of music that comes out every year and everyone's like, oh my God, it's so fucking good. I don't care. All right, well, way to announce to anyone watching this that you have no fucking taste. Okay, well. Anyway, so this album was announced in uh, 2023 and like the first, so from my understanding, the way that it was announced initially was like semi-privately, but not really to a bunch of Charlie XCX fans on uh, like a private Instagram account of hers. Rose happens to follow this account, and once it was announced, I don't think the announcement stayed up for very long, but once it was announced, Rose took it upon herself to screenshot it, send it to Popcrave, who then posted about it on Twitter. And as far as I can tell, I haven't looked into it very hard, so could be wrong. As far as I can tell, Popcrave's post about it is the earliest announcement for this album. And this is the album that turned out to be Brat. So Rose Malay leaked Brat in 2023, or she leaked the announcement, which I just find fucking hilarious. Like, that's the biggest musical contribution she's ever going to make in her life. And it was taking a screenshot and sending a fucking email. <laughs> do, you, do you think she'll ever get picked up as, like, an edgy artist? Like, if, if like, Sam Hyde found out who she was. I'm surprised she's not applied to be on Fish Tank, actually. Sam Hyde would she, love her. Unironically, Sam Hyde would think this shit's really funny. I think she'd actually die. <laughs> like unironically die. That would that would oh that would be exceptional content, Rose on Fish Tank. It'd be that. so good. Yeah. So the the reason that we know, by the way, that Rose is the one who leaked this is because she fucking posted about it on Twitter, including a manifesto about why she did it. <laughs> like this screenshot of the email is from Rose. I haven't like fully gone through this, but let's just read a little bit of it now. It was me. I was the one who leaked this. I wanted to send Charlie a message. <laughs> My motives or manifesto, if you will. Uh, you know what? I am not reading all that <laughs> shit. But just, just why are there? It. It's like pages. What the fuck? Someone needs to humble you. You think you're all that, but you're not. Stop throwing shade at other artists. What the fuck? Okay, look. Fuck. Now I have to like brat. <laughs> now I have to be like, no, it's great. It's so good. It's literally an eight-point manifesto. <laughs> it's it's unhinged. <laughs> oh god, Rose is one of these people where it's like, all of it's so unhinged. I can't. I don't think I've ever seen her have a normal interaction with anyone, ever. I don't think she's capable. Well, the the irony, the irony of like suicide baiting this much is like Rose is one of these people that I look at. I'm like, I do it. <laughs> like I'd be straight up like, this is what my life is. How old is she? Uh, she's 24. She's been this since she was at least 16. I think she's gonna be doing this for for a, pretty much the rest of her life. So I don't know how long that life is gonna be. She is a sad Star Wars monster. Um, oh. Right, do you have anything anything else you want to throw in before we end? I think that's about it. Okay, well, 
Um, thank you for hanging out and listening to uh, episode two of Trash Fire Tales. We're going to try and keep doing more of these. Don't know what our schedule looks like for them because I'm terrible at scheduling. Um, but yeah, this has been this has been fun. Thank you. I think we've got some interesting ones coming up actually. There's like no good forum through stream where I can just sort of talk about all the insane shit that's happened around certain people, and I, I quite like these for that. Um, okay, cool. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you at the next one. See you on the next one.